first got involved with fencing when I was very young, in middle school. Uh, my mother was tired of me going in the backyard and beating each other up with sticks. So uh, she was like, we're going to put that to some good use. We're going to get you into, into fencing. Coincidentally, that was the same year that the first Lord of the Rings movie came out as well, so that probably didn't help. Now I'm competing at the national level. And with fencing, it's a little bit interesting because it's a very complex motion. There's a lot of moving parts to get a simple thing. So you can think of you're just trying to get that tip and you want to put it into your opponent. Um, that's a very simple action, but there's a large number of degrees of freedom that you have to go through in order for that to happen. So kind of the motor control aspect of how fencing works is very interesting. And some of the more modern approaches to teaching actually look at more of, well, this muscle group is activating more and you're, you're tensing up in this area too much, so that may affect your, your outcome. So there's some new methods that are coming up with that may be looking at motion capture to look at uh, how we fence and what can we do to improve fencing. My specific work is looking at much more uh, simple tasks just to make things easier, but the end goal would be to use some kind of more complex task like fencing um, to do that.